Hello fellow modelers. Today, let us tackle finally putting this fuselage together. And also, let's deal with the engine inlet detail. Without further delay, let's begin. While building the intake cone, I decided I wanted to extend the crew access ladder. So with a brand new blade, we begin surgery. I found that two picks come in really handy when making compound curves. The engine cone inlet curves both ways, so I achieved that by using the edge of my paintbrush handle. It is at this point we now try to shape what in general it's supposed to look like. Nice. Okay, so pay attention carefully and watch how I managed to get it done. Using the back of my knife to score areas that need folding which is different from cutting here we're cutting out the inlet reinforcement And to hold it in place, we use some quick cryolite glue.
after extreme care is made to join those panel lines together, we now repeat the same process of building the engine inlet for the other side. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Oh yes, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me a lot. Thanks again. Now, the crew access ladder comes in two sets. One is a recess, which we're now showing you, and the other, the actual ladder, which will be shown in the next episode. Pretty much all my frameworks are glued and joined together using cryolite glue. When integrating the air intake with the front fuselage, extreme care must be taken to make sure one, it is centered at the base and two, both sides are properly aligned to ensure that it doesn't slip during its drying process. I just tack each side with a bit of cryolite glue to hold it firmly in its proper position. It's time to put this beast together. Remember, this is not a race against anyone. Take your time in making sure everything is properly aligned and pressed into place. Also, this is your friendly reminder get yourself a good set of tweezers. Nice. Now at this point, I want you to watch carefully how I add the final panel in place and where exactly I cut and fold.
Well, will you look at that? It seems as if we now have a Prowler fuselage fully built on our hands. Well, it will be this for today's video. I hope you may have learned a tip or two from what I've done here. And I'm so thankful that you made it to the end of this video. As always, my friends, take care, relax, enjoy life, and you know it, above all, one love.